welcome as we continue our walk with John through his gospel. Our reading for today takes us to the sixth chapter, verses 1 through 10. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming towards him, Jesus said to Philip, where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There's a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many people? Jesus said, make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place. So they sat down, about 5,000 in all. When I read a text like this miracle on the shores of the Sea of Tiberias, I often wonder who was there and what did they see and hear I wonder why did they follow, or why did some turn back, or why did others go on ahead? When we come to such a familiar passage as the one at hand, it's sometimes good to look at it with different eyes and ask of it different questions. So we've really just stopped midway into the feeding of the 5,000 to ask just such questions and to seek understanding. You know, if we would take a panoramic view of the geography, we know Jesus had just been to Cana of Galilee and then was on his way to Jerusalem. And as our story begins, he's approaching the lake, likely at Tiberias, where there are hills for him to ascend. He would have been walking from Jerusalem and perhaps some of the crowd had followed him all that way while others joined him as he approached the city. With the crowd going and to be able to continue to the work the Father sent him to do, Jesus had to go up the mountain a little ways Surely some folks continued to town now that it was getting late into the day and they needed food and they needed a place to rest. Yet others continued to follow him, still seeking Jesus. Perhaps they wondered if this is where they were going to stop for the night, just outside the city limits and away from the crowds and the shops, the lodging and the food, would this be where Jesus might heal some? And I wonder if you and I were there, what would have kept us with Jesus on the side of the mountain late into the day? What would have kept us with Jesus rather than going on to where we knew we would find food and a good place to stay? I have to imagine that within the last few days, Bruce and Karen were right there on the hills of Tiberias, overlooking the Sea of Galilee. And I wonder if this story crossed their minds. Let's come to a little bit of silence and wonder about the people who were on the hills that day with Jesus and wonder about what it looked like and sounded to them.
I love to think about my time in uh, Jerusalem, in Israel, in the area of Galilee, in the city of Tiberias. All of those places, all of those names that make up the stories of Jesus' sojourn and his ministry. And so as we place ourselves in those crowds today, our intention is one that they must have had to make. So as we go through our day, I want you to think about being an intentional companion of Christ in wherever you are, in whatever your work is, and wherever you will travel. Thanks for being with us. It's an amazing gift to be able to travel with John through his gospel and see what he saw and hear what he heard. May you be at peace.